Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set the Java home. So for that, what we need to do, we need to first of all, find out where Java is installed on our Mac operating system. So for that, we are going to open the terminal. So just click on this spotlight icon and then search for terminal and then open the terminal from here. So generally, once you install Java JDK, its location is forward slash usr forward slash lib exec forward slash java home so java underscore home and then you need to give hyphen and then capital v and it's going to give you the version of java which you have installed so this is the version which we have installed which is java 20 1.0.1 once we know the version of uh, java so now in the next step what we need to do is we need to set or export the path of java home in our bash rc file or zsh rc file now if you are using the newer version of mac operating system most probably by default your mac terminal is using zsh so we are going to set the java home in the zshrc file now this zshrc file is located in your home folder so when you do pwd and when you open the terminal for the first time this is the home folder of your mac operating system or for your particular user right and this dot zshrc is located in this directory so how to uh, know that you can do ls space hyphen al and then press enter and you will be able to see this kind of file which says dot zshrc now if this file is not present you don't need to worry about it we will create a new dot zshrc file so if this file is present we will add our location to it if it's not present we will first create this file and then we are going to add our export now you can use any editor to uh, edit or create this file so if this dot zshrc file is not there you can uh, use this touch command and then write dot z s h r c and then press enter and it's going to create your dot z s h r c file in my case it's already present so i'm not going to give this command the next command is using a text editor you need to open this file you can use nano to open the dot z s h file or if you are the fan of text editor then you can use open also so just write open and then write dot z s h r c which is the name of this file and then press enter which is going to open this dot z s h file using the text editor let me make this uh, text a little bit bigger so you can see here so i already have one export here in your case if you have created this file for the first time you will not see any export here it will be blank what you need to do here is you need to copy and paste these two lines here i'm going to paste these two lines in the description of this video also so you can directly copy them and paste it into your terminal so the first co command is export java underscore home is equal to dollar and then this is the path which we have uh, seen in the terminal so we have uh, used this path right user forward slash lib exact forward slash java home space hyphen version and we got this version in my case right 21.0.1 so here we have given the same path hyphen version and instead of this version you need to give the version which you see after giving this command so in my case the version is 21.0.1 so I'm going to replace this version with 21.0.1. So let me just write 21.0.1 here. And then in the next line, you need to uh, give this command, which is export space path is equal to dollar Java home forward slash bin colon dollar path. 
right? So these two lines you need to copy and paste and don't forget to change the version with the version which you have. Once you are done, you can save this file. So I'm going to just uh, click on the file option and then click on save, which is going to save this .shrc file and then I'm going to close this. Once this is closed, you can verify that your changes are saved by just giving the same command once again, which is open space dot zshrc. And I can see that uh, my changes are already there. So I know that my changes are saved, right? Once your changes are saved, the next command you need to write here is this one. So let me clear the terminal because uh, it's full. So after uh, saving your export, you just need to give this command, which is source and then give the name of your file, which is .zshrc and then press enter. If you don't give this command, then .zshrc will not load in the current terminal. So if you don't give this command, just close your terminal and then reopen the terminal once again, okay? So you can also do this. So I'm going to just close this terminal and then quit from this terminal and then once again open the terminal. And once the terminal is open, I can check the Java home is set or not by giving echo command. So I'm going to just give echo dollar Java underscore home and then press enter and it's going to give you the location of Java home. In my case, it's a uh, library forward slash Java forward slash Java virtual machine forward slash JDK 21 point JDK contents forward slash home. Okay, so if you have followed all the step which I have shown you, you will see this kind of output. Now once uh, Java home is set and Java is installed, we can also check the version of Java. So you can give this command, which is Java space hyphen version and then press enter. And it's going to give you the version of Java, which is 21.0.1 in my case. So Java is now successfully installed on my Mac operating system.